Welcome back, it's Thursday again, and we're going to do episode 19 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. I nearly called it uh, the 10 minute low poly challenge there, but that's pretty much what it is. But that's okay, you don't really have time to do much more than low poly, and I like that style, and it's pretty much the only thing I can do. I've got some requests for doing some high poly stuff, but I'm not very good at that, so I'll stick to low poly for now, and maybe I'll practice some more high poly behind the scenes. So, uh, what's in store today? We're gonna do uh, some low poly weapons. We've had some requests for that over the past few weeks, and uh, I'm just gonna do some, uh, like, handheld, uh, not, no modern uh, firearms as of yet, I'm gonna do that as well. I'm gonna do some swords and axes and knives and stuff like that. Usually when you do small objects like this, uh, like it's one thing if you do the car for example, you can do 10 cars because they're variants of different things. And I guess the, the uh, weapons will be variants as well. I don't think I'll be able to do so many weapons uh, because they take uh, some unique time per weapon. So we'll see, maybe I can do four or five something. We'll see how it goes. Oh, also today I hit 50k subscribers. Super thrilled about that. It's only about a month and a half ago since I hit 10k and that took me about 10 years. So now I actually reached 50,000 today, earlier today, about quarter past two in the afternoon. I'm recording this on the Wednesday, so it's uh, the 29th of uh, April today, and uh, I'll be airing this tomorrow. Uh, as you know, this is not live, because uh, I've had some uh, people coming in thinking that it's live, but it's a premiere where we can chat together. I wouldn't have time to chat anyway to do it uh, while I was doing things live. And also, I, I don't think uh, I'll cope with the pressure of doing it live. Maybe one day I'll do live ones as well. Oh, maybe I should do some merch as well. Some people have said that as well. E to extrude, S to scale. Maybe that's coming. Anyone's got a suggestion on a merch site that can produce good quality stuff? Let me know in the comments and I'll have a look at it. All right, let's get started. Let's do some uh, low poly weapons. Go, tab in tight mode, A to select everything, scale 0 0.02 uh, maybe, make a really small handle here, uh, A, select the brown there, make a brown handle, and then uh, let's bring it down to maybe there, E to extrude. <laughs> Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna copy this, because I'm gonna duplicate this object here, so Shift D, X, uh, 1, and then I'll do, uh, I'll see how many more weapons I can do. So one, Shift R a few times here, hopefully that should be enough. And let's go into this object here, E to extrude it, S to scale, you know the drill, E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale. Actually, let's do auto mirror on this one. So go into edit, auto mirror, there we go. And then let's do a sword here, if I didn't say that. Uh, e to extrude that one, E to extrude, and then move this uh, line in, the edge, shift select, right click and do subdivide. Go to front view, let's make it about one meter high. So E to extrude, S to scale, X, E to extrude, like a cartoony sword, I guess. So, and let's enable merge here as well, auto merge. And uh, bring it in, scale zero, make it pointy and sharp. No point having a dull sword, uh, scale Y zero. And then let's bring uh, this into like a gray color. So steel sword, that's it, simple sword. That's the first one. Next one, let's do a metal a two handed sword here. So A to select everything and do it a little bit brighter maybe. Bigger handle since it's two, uh, gonna be two-handed sword. E to extrude, but we'll keep a similar thing on there. Uh, e to extrude this one. E to extrude. Make this one slightly different. Uh, maybe E to extrude a bit wider. Protect your hands. <laughs> extrude as to scale, and uh, let's bring this one in. Now let's make it. Uh, we'll just keep that. We'll do the same thing here. Actually, we'll do uh, bring that one. In. Shift select, right click, subdivide. Bring this one up, we'll make this one longer. So E to extrude. And here we'll do it straight like this, but E to extrude S to scale X. Oh yeah, I have to do auto mirror on it. Uh, control Z, auto mirror. Go back into edit mode here. Front view, E to extrude S to scale X. E to extrude S to scale X. Actually scale it down to zero now and move it in there. Okay, same thing here, let's make it sharp. So uh, scale Y, zero, and then we can just select, uh, maybe we can do a little color on this one as well. So we'll do like a, a white edge here. And here I have to connect these, so let's select these two and press J to link those. Oh, cut a, make a cut in between there. And let's color this white now, so it looks like a, also like a cartoony, but a sharp sword. How am I doing? Seven minutes on the clock. So some edges here. Let's go white with that G on the left here. Okay, that's it. And uh, for the next, I'm going to do another sword again. Uh, this one, I'm going to copy this one actually. Shift D and Shift Space G, Control, move it to here. Let's do some different features on this. So Control uh, R here and do loads of uh, cuts here. Like do some sort of a fantasy sword or something. 
Let's uh, select a few of these. Alt Shift select these. Scale X and make it a bit spiky. And then let's select a few of these and make some holes as well. So I'll select uh, that one, that one, and that one maybe. And actually let's do both sides here. Um, that should be okay. Let's do that one as well. And uh, now I'm gonna do I to inset and then B to link those together with the center. And then uh, E to extrude it. And actually control Z, I'll do Alt E and extrude it in a little bit. Scale Y zero now. And then we can just delete these faces now. And why did I deselect them? <laughs> okay, delete, and now we've got some holes there. That's good. Uh, we can do also do maybe a spike here as well make it uh, scale X, so we'll do some weird, maybe a cartoon sort. Okay, let's make an axe, how am I doing? 552. So uh, again, I'm not expecting to do too many weapons because they take some individual time, each one of them. So let's do a, an axe here, battle axe of some sort. Uh, we'll keep it low poly as usual, but L will scale it up a little bit to make it a bit thicker. Move it up again. Let's make an axe, quite a, a long one for this one, maybe to there. E to extrude that one. And then uh, again, we'll do auto mirror for this one. I to inset it, E to extrude, control plus to expand the selection and go gray again. And then here, let's do, uh, guess what? Yeah, you called it E to extrude S to scale, but only on the Z axis. E to extrude S to scale Z, E to extrude S to scale Z, and then E to extrude S to scale Z. And then let's do, uh, let's, how should we do this? Control R maybe and do, this, and then I can select uh, these faces and move them in, get a bit of a round shape there. And then also we need to make this sharp, so scale Y zero, and then again, we'll color this white to make that cheat to look at, make it look like it's been sharpened. And then here, let's do, do some S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S, and then move it in as well here. Alt Z to see through, and B to box select all of those, and then make them gray as well. How am I doing? 422. Alt Z. Okay, let's make a small axe as well. So uh, here, let's do a little smaller. L scale, and let's do make it one-sided only, so I don't have to automate this one. To there maybe. And uh, let's make a bit of a shape on it since we're not mirroring it anyway. Uh, let's do here. E to extrude, R to rotate it. E to extrude, R to rotate it again. Don't know why I'm doing this, but let's see. It's got some weird shape to it. Maybe I'll just break it up a little bit. From you, R to rotate this one, scale it out to there. And now let's make the head of the axe here as well. It's gonna be facing this way apparently. So we'll do it uh, here. Uh, e to Nope, we'll do, I need it to face the other way for some reason, so. No, I don't. <laughs> I to inset, uh, E to extrude, S to scale Z, E to extrude, S to scale Z, E to extrude, S to scale Z. And then that can, actually we'll still do a similar round shape to this one. I think it looks a bit more cartoony or low poly style. Uh, so we'll move it in on the X axis a bit. And then uh, should have colored this one really. So see, three minutes to go. Control plus a few times, make it gray as well. Darker gray. And then uh, let's make it sharp again. We don't want dull stuff to zero. That's very sharp. <laughs> and then make this one white as well. Okay, and if we wanted it to point out a little bit here, like as if it was going through, uh, then we'll do I to inset that one, E to extrude, S to scale, S to scale Z, just as if it was like inserted here somewhere. Okay. Uh, so 235, so we've got one, two, three, four, five weapons. Let's just do a shield then as well. So I won't have time to uh, do too many of these, so I'll do uh, do Shift S cursor to selected. I'll delete that one, and then actually we'll delete all these as well. I won't have time to do probably anything with those. The shield's gonna take some time probably. So we've got two minutes to go. So I'll do Shift A, and we'll do a cylinder. Bring the low po poly count down to 16 maybe. And then uh, tab into edit mode, rotate x nine, rotate x ninety, scale it down, and I'm gonna make this one uh, a bit bigger. So let's move it to here. I guess scale. We have to move the whole object then, so I don't get the center weird. 
scale uh, to there, scale uh, on the Y axis, make it down to, let's make a wood shield. I've only got 135 to go, so make something really simple here. What happened here? Oh, I, I made a big mistake here. Uh, I have to switch this one. That was a waste of time. So I <laughs> created a whole new object. So I lost the UV mapping here. So let's bring it to the wood. Uh, 116. Okay. Uh, I inset. Let's do both sides. I to inset. And then just make it a bit rounder here. I to inset. I'm moving both sides now. So I to inset again. And then I to inset to make some sort of. A, and then I to inset here. Make some sort of a round thing here and insert that one. So 50 seconds I'll do, this one can be metal. And let's do Alt select this one, F3 check. Let's see, check, uh, let's do this one first. Actually I'll do a, like a metal edge here as well. Alt select that one, uh, Alt E to extrude long face normals. Uh, Control plus, make it gray as well. We've got 30 seconds. Alt select that on, F3 checker deselect, I to inset some other features here as well, maybe uh, scale it. Uh, so 17 seconds, period, individual origins, scale that one down, control plus, and make it uh, gray as well. And then here we can just do uh, some sort of a handle. Uh, let's cap, cap this F and flip normal. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Uh, uh, switch this one off. So um, I didn't make a handle. Uh, maybe should have had a handle to hold the shield. Uh, that's okay though, I think anyway, because a low poly character only needs to hold the shield by its arm. You don't really need to see the handle anyway, so I'm okay with that. So we've got three different types of swords, two two-handed ones, one with little features on it. We've got one uh, really cartoony looking uh, one-handed sword. I uh, got a double-sided axe. I have no clue what these are called. If you are a weapons expert, and then uh, probably first of all, you say no weapons look like this. That's fine. <laughs> uh, just made these up on the fly. Uh, no prepping for this one. <laughs> Some of the videos I actually prep a little bit for, and I think about techniques to make it fast, like the cars, for example, or the rigging. I have to really think through, okay, how can I do this as fast as possible? But for some videos, I don't really have time to prep, and this is one of those videos. So I just thought, okay, let's see what we can do. Double-sided uh, axe here, and then we've got a smaller axe, weird shape on that one. It's not exactly a wood chopping axe. Don't know who would have anything like that. And then we've got a shield here. All right, uh, what could the tip be for this week? Um, we should make a little tip as well. Uh, I think if anything, it would be how to cut these holes here without having to do the bool uh, operator. I can, uh, if I do shift D, let's repeat that one. Duplicate that one. And then control, into the edit mode here, control R. Did a bunch of these uh, loop cuts. And then what I did was I selected a few of these. On both sides, you have to do it. So one thing that you could do then is if you go to front view and do Alt Z, you can see through the mesh. And then if you do B to box select, then it'll select faces on both sides here. So both sides are selected there. Alt Z again to go away from see through. I to inset it. And you have it, uh, I was gonna point to the screen, you don't see that, but uh, it's merged in the center now. And that's because if you hit B, then um, it creates an individual uh, uh, inset here. But if you do B, it's called boundary off. And that, that means that if you are mirrored, then you, you get rid of that center face really handy. Uh, I have to switch back here to do medium point. Uh, you can't have individual origins then uh, because you have to have the medium point when you scale this. You've got both sides selected here. So I do scale Y zero. And that brings those down into, and it merges the center vertices here automatically uh, since I've got auto merge vertices on. And then I can just delete these faces and then you've created uh, holes here that, without having to use a bool operator. So uh, that's one way you could do it. And uh, if you wanted to make these a bit rounder as well, you could do that. Control R, loop cut those. And let's Alt Shift select them and then move them out a little bit. If you wanted to have a rounder feature like this, for example. So maybe that was a quick tip for you to, to do some holes in your uh, meshes. Uh, also, I know a lot of people are waiting for the low poly racer and uh, it is coming, but it's taken me some time. Uh, I had to do that Rigify video in between and I've had some birthdays coming up uh, that I had to allocate some time to and uh, it's taken a lot of time with the low poly racer. What I've done now is actually I've, uh, I've tidied up the project quite a bit and then I'm gonna re-record parts from where I left off because uh, otherwise I'd have to show you a lot of stuff where I made something and then I scrapped it and went back and did something a little bit different and 
it's just take a lot of time both for me and editing and for you to learn a lot of stuff that maybe wasn't so good so i've recreated it i'm gonna re-record parts of it now and try to keep it as if, if <laughs> try to keep it as uh, effective and efficient as possible so you can see how uh, i did the rest with that said i'm gonna have to end there i uh, hope you liked this video it wasn't uh, maybe as spectacular as some of the other builds but i hope you liked it i hope you found some ideas to create some low poly weapons for yourself and hit the thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you next week bye for now